a plenary debate on Europe's Western Balkan expansion. The train from Belgrade is on its track towards Brussels. Montenegro is leading the way, I think, amongst EU candidate countries. There is no real alternative in the Western Balkans to EU accession. But the liveliest exchange came on Serbia's accession. Unfortunately, some Croatian colleagues still use this European Parliament as a polygon for, I would say, political horse trading or gathering political points for the domestic public in the year of the elections there. And this is not helpful when we are discussing the progress of Serbia. Serbia, like other Balkan countries, has a littered history. It needs to overcome for accession talks to be opened with the EU. We have to deal with first uh, the rule of law, better economic governance, the reform of public administration, the fundamental rights which have to be maintained and of course we need a normalisation in the relationship between Serbia and Kosovo. EU Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker has said that there will be no EU expansion for five years. So the march towards accession for Western Balkan countries will continue but may take a while yet.